Well, it was a deadly disaster of a scale hard to comprehend, wasn't it? Southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales hit by a devastating deluge. Lives and livelihoods ruined. The damage bill, more than $5 billion. Lismore became ground zero for stories of heartbreak and real heroism. And while the debris has been mostly cleared, one year on, the recovery is far from over, as I first hand, saw firsthand in this Today Show special report. Hello, hello, hello. Come in. Thank you very much. Mate, great to see you. How you doing? Yeah, good, you? Oh, we've got a roof over our head. Yeah. Which um, makes a big difference. How long has this been home for? Lovely to see you. Uh, start of December. Nice to see you, though. Um, since December? Yeah, start of December. We what difference does that make? Good. Gave us a place to put a Christmas tree. Yeah. This is the new normal for the Bebb family. A temporary housing pod in East Lismore after their home was swallowed by a wall of water. Still so uncertain for so many people. It's limbo. It's moving from different phases of limbo, and this time we've been held up not by insurance companies, we've been held up by government bureaucracy. Limbo and Lismore. Lismore and limbo. Residents forced to take refuge on their roof. Locals becoming flood heroes as emergency services were swamped. Urgent pleas for help on social media and to us live on today. So Katie, I want to let you know yeah. um, that we have just received uh, information that, that emergency services are aware of where you are. Neighbors that are stuck in their roof next door just screaming for help. Last time I saw you, you were yep. on a roof. Yeah. <laughs> what a year. Well, it was a big year. I was just so focused on one goal, which was getting off of the roof, that I didn't really absorb any trauma or fear. It was just very focused on getting the kids off the roof. Just about every single house, the street upon street, has been inundated by water, hasn't it? Unbelievable. It was the biggest natural disaster since Cyclone Tracy. And even though the mud has gone from a lot of the houses, not all of them, uh, you know, there's still a lot of infrastructure, uh, a lot of insecurity and a lot more to be done. The weather system making its way down from Brisbane to Ballina. We just need help now as fast as possible. To Bungle Walburn. Make no mistake, What's going on there is a matter of life and death. To the New South Wales south coast. The day before disaster struck Lismore, the Weather Bureau issued a major flood warning. Within hours, the forecast peak climbed to 11.5 metres, but the Wilsons River exceeded worst fears, peaking four metres above the town's flood levee. You're going to have to fix this yeah. historic rain gauge and flood level. Mayor, 12 months ago, we would have been a couple of feet under. More than a couple of feet, Carl. You know, this whole building went underwater for the first time ever. Tragic, really, to see a whole town literally submerged. Queen stayed here once. 1954. You know, there's a bit of this around, um, unfortunately. You know, we've just done a business survey through the council and we've got about 60% of our businesses back up and running. But thousands in Lismore are still waiting for answers, unsure if their property is eligible for the buyback scheme. You had all that media attention, you had all of the, every political persuasion, every politician yeah. in town, <laughs> and you heard from no one. No one. So that's a failure on every level of government, local, yep. state, federal. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel towards them? They're ridiculous. It's, it's, a, it's an absolute joke. There's a bit of anger out there, I, I won't lie to you. Um, some people who didn't see any level of government support. How do you respond to that? I, I get angry too. Like it's a natural emotion for what you've been through and it's frustration, it's the fear of not knowing. Leonie, how are you doing? Uh, have my days, yeah. What's been the most difficult thing for a mum in all of this? Um, watching the kids lose everything. You don't want to be in Lismore anymore? No. Like the region, wouldn't want to leave the region, but Lismore is just, no. It's too much there for yeah. you. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah Lismore has gone now. For those who have chosen to rebuild in the country's most flood-prone town, 
there's some optimism Lismore will bounce back. Hopefully we'll get a few years of good weather and we'll be able to rebuild and come back better than ever. Good on you, man. Thanks, Good mate. luck with it. It's great to see you. It's good to see you in our sunny town. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the mayor is absolutely uh, wonderful. He's been wonderful uh, ever since um, day one. Yeah. Um, and the rebuild has been difficult. Um, I think it's it's hard in some parts to judge where some people are at. It's mm. very broad and there's a broad level of, of response um, and also where people are at with their individual families. Um, yeah. But through it all, there's this great heart that ticks through Lismore. Mm. Um, the, the tinny army who came from mm. everywhere around that region, including friends of mine, who managed yeah. to save people is the heart and soul uh, of that that place. Um, so forget about government. What happened there and how the people of local people dealt with it mm. um, is still the thing that I take out of it. Yeah, incredible yeah. resilience that you still see there, isn't it? Yeah, it's magnificent. Really good on you, good Carl. That was brilliant. That's good. Mm. Sitting yeah. down and yeah. on this desk, watching that woman on that roof, mm. it was terrifying. It was terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and seeing her now, mm. a smile on her face somewhat, yeah. because mm. there's still that frustration yeah, there, yeah, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. What do we do now? Yeah. And, and, and I think some people are just going to move out and move away, yeah. um, but there are, there are going to be others who, who just can't leave it because because they love it so much. Mm. Um, anyway, the, there are several events being held in the Northern Rivers this week to mark the first anniversary of the disaster. For more details on those, you can head to visitlismore.com.au. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?